Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to create some bingo cards using software called Bingo Card Printer, which you can download from bingocardprinter.com. This is the uh, initial screen of the software, and I click Create New Bingo Card Project, and I have the choice of what kind of bingo cards I'd like to create. I can choose a blank bingo card, enter my own words, choose alphabet, numbers, uh, school subjects like English, geography, history, math, science, reading, choose events like um, baby showers or birthday showers, or in this case I'm going to choose holidays. In which case I can customize the list of standard words that are included. So there we are, Christmas, I select that, I either double click on it or I click it and then click OK. And there's my list of Christmas uh, items here on the uh, menu. And I can um, add my own additional items if I want to. So let's for example add uh, additional item Christmas Eve. And it appears at the bottom because the uh, words are um, uh, in the order they're entered. Um, the most templates they start in alphabetical order, but my new items appear at the bottom. I can resort that into alphabetical order. And also delete items I don't want. So, for example, if I don't want gingerbread to be on this, I simply click on it and then click delete to remove it. Um, I can customize the size of the bingo cards. I can make a 3x3 three three bingo card or a 4x4. Four or 5x5, five five, uh, which was what I started with. I can make a larger bin card like 6x6, six six, although I haven't quite got enough items to fill it out uh, with a larger size, so we'll stick to 5x5 five five for now. I can turn on or off whether to have the heading on the bingo card. I could change the text of the heading if I wanted to. I can turn on or off whether to have the free space in the center of the bingo card. Again, I can change the text of that. I can also change the fonts and the colors, so in this example I'm going to change some uh, nice Christmassy colours, uh, red, white, and green. So the squares I think would be uh, white and uh, in a checkerboard with green squares, maybe dark, a nice dark green like uh, that. And the dark green squares will have white text on them. And the free space colour, perhaps I'll make that a, a red square with um, white text on it. And the heading, again, I can change that around. So let's make that um, white on a red background, that one as well. And the line colours, I can choose a, another colour for that if I want. Uh, perhaps I'll make this, this one a red foreground, and I'll make the lines also red. I think I've chosen more than one shade of red, but it doesn't matter for this example. You'll, if I click OK, you'll see what my um, finger card now looks like with the colours. The items on the finger card are initially shown in the same order as this menu here, but in the real bingo cards, each bingo card will contain a different random arrangement of the items, uh, as you will see when I do print preview in a minute. Okay, let's look at the options concerned with printing. Uh, print call list, this will basically give me an extra sheet when I print with these items in a random order. It's very useful uh, if you need a, a printed reference to the items that are being drawn in the bingo game. Um, but you don't have to use that if you don't want it, you can turn it off. Uh, you can draw the items as a bingo caller, either out of a hat manually, or there's a built-in option to, to uh, let the computer generate the items as you're playing the game, which I'll show you at the end of the video. Um, I can also choose how many bingo cards to print per page. If I put more bingo cards on a page, each bingo card will come out smaller, but it will uh, potentially allow me to save paper um, as I can print several bingo cards on a page and cut the paper up and give one bingo card to each player with using much less paper. Obviously uh, that involves, involves some extra work on my part. And I can choose, um, I'll leave that on one though for the time being, and I can choose how many bingo cards I want to print. Obviously the more um, I can put in one, I can put in ten, I can put a hundred bingo cards, as many as I need to. Um, in this example I'll put in fifty. And if I now click uh, print, or in this case print preview, you can see what the bingo cards would look like. Okay, the first page is the call list, the list of words in random order. I do uh, zoom out so you can see the whole page. And then I'll do the next page. Here we are with the call list, the, um, with, the bing sorry, with the first bingo card. Uh, again, with the uh, text in random order. If I click next page, you'll see... Uh, a different randomly generated bingo card. I click next page, you'll see the third randomly generated bingo card, and then the next one, and the next one, and so on. 
Um, I did mention that there's an option for the software to help the bingo caller choose items at random. It's simply here, if you go on the play menu, click call game, um, it will choose one of the words at random, show you on the left hand side. If I click next, it will choose a second word and it will show you the previous selections uh, as you scroll down. So it's a very handy tool to uh, help the bingo caller. And that's basically it. If you go to bingocardprinter.com, you can download a free trial version of the software, try it out, see how you like it, and if you like it, hopefully upgrade and re register to upgrade and get the full version of the software. So bingocardprinter.com, go to the website, download it, try it out. I hope you like it. I think you will. Thank you very much.